Now, figuring out how to pay for a child's education is perhaps one of the biggest financial decisions a parent will have to make. And believe me, I know. I have three children in college this semester. Uh, that's right, three tuition payments this semester. If you see a nervous twitch, that's what I like to blame it on. So I'm certainly pleased to sponsor this initiative by the Treasurer's Office to give parents more flexibility and make it easier and more attractive to invest in their children's education. Many families are worried about having unused or leftover funds in 529 accounts and will now have another option what, what to do with that money. And parents can have increased comfort with their 529 plans by alleviating concerns about unintended taxation and allowing families to maximize the time value of the money. And as the treasurer mentioned, it's a great way to help children build their retirement savings. I agree with the treasurer. This is what parents want state government to do. They want us to help them out with their everyday's needs, the children's education. This is what state government can do, and we're certainly very happy to, to help out. So I appreciate Treasurer Frerichs and his staff's ongoing commitment to helping parents pay for their children's education. Just last year, a reminder, the treasurer and lawmakers worked together to begin the First Steps program, which helps parents start the process of saving for their college costs. So all these efforts will help parents navigate the difficult decisions and how to best ensure their children can access higher education and reach their potential. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to keep up to date with news from the caucus. For more information on what I'm working on, please follow me on social media using the links in the description below.